The panel is there. We've got two kickstands. Here today with this MHPOWOS. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to pronounce that, but we're going to call it MH Powers because it kind of sounds cool. This is a 20 volt, 110 watt panel. It's just another foldable panel, and I wanted to check it out. One thing that immediately was interesting to me is it comes with this cable that has pretty much everything. So that really stood out to me. This is 37 inches by 23 inches, and it's only about 2.75 inches thick. This is the first day we've actually had sun in a while. So it does come with a little instruction manual, and it's got a pretty generous amount of cable here. It is IP67 waterproof and dustproof. They claim it'll, the laminate on it, it's a ETFE laminate, is good from negative four Fahrenheit to 140 Fahrenheit. So it has, you know, a cable already that does XT60, uh, DC7909, DC5521, Anderson Power Pole. There's another one there, two other ones there. I'm not sure what they are. I've not got anything with those, but it is seven in one. Did I count wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. They're claiming it's a seven in one connector. Really, it's a six in one. They're counting the uh, solar connectors there. I always forget what those are called. I just call them solar connectors. But yeah, it feels pretty good quality and stuff. I haven't actually looked at the panel yet, so we'll look at that when we take it outside. But they claim set up in under 60 seconds. Sounds right to me. You unfold it, use the little kickstand here, plug in, you're good to go. So I'm gonna carry all this stuff outside. I have two power stations we're gonna take outside. So they said 60 seconds. Let's see here. Let me get in frame a little. Uh, let me find zippers. Are there none? Okay. So just a handle. The panel is there. We've got two kickstands. Okay. All crust pretty grippy, so we'll spin this around. And we're gonna leave that zip tie on. We'll undo the Velcro on this. Yeah, I can see 60 seconds here. I will open this panel again after I've connected it to the batteries so we can do things the correct way, and we'll be right back. The angle is less than optimal, and this is gonna be really hard to see because this display just kind of stinks. But even at this angle, we're pulling in 52 watts, 55 watts, 58 watts, 61 watts. So we're getting about 98 watts. And again, it's, let me see what time it is. It's 9.58 a.m. and it's May, not bad. And again, we're not even angled in the right direction. There's 102. Let me get the bigger battery on here and we'll go ahead and check it out too. Let me see where the solar input actually is. I think it's on the side. So we're gonna use the XT90 on this. Let's see that way. Now let me turn it on first. Unfortunately, we're already at 98% on this one. Um, I need to draw it down some today. Interesting. So I actually don't think that's XT90. It is too small. I believe I have a power pulled XT90 adapter. Let me go look for that real fast. So it was actually easier for me to just go grab another power station. This one, it does work. Or it is the right size connector. So I need to look at that manual again and see what that connector was, but it's definitely not XT90, but it's working for this one. We're seeing 47 watts in, 49. Again, this is at 99%, so it's not a great test, but we did see it operating at 100 watts on the first power station. And we're seeing it work on this. No amount of moving it changes it. Um, I'm gonna partially block some of the cells. And even then we're not really seeing a drop off. There we are. But yeah, I, I'm really happy with this thing. It is, it is a nice little piece of kit. I don't know how well you can see that display. You can't see it at all. I can barely see it. But yeah, like it's a nice little piece of kit. So that's the MHPOWOS. It's a 120 watt, I believe I said. Um, solar panel, pretty great. If I don't want to carry, like it's so much lighter. I have some that are like three and four panels and they're so much heavier and they do have nice like plastic construction, which kind of protects them, acts as like a case. But if I just want something quick, you know, 100 watt panel, I was getting, or 120 watt panel and I was getting 102 watts 
under suboptimal conditions. I mean, there isn't a cloud in the sky, which is nice because I got a lot of grass I got to cut, but the sun's not at the best angle and you could probably get it better. Yeah, like 100 watts. Most of these things don't even come close to what they say, and this got us, you know, most of the way there. So I'm very happy with it. I have some ideas for projects for this. I have some 12 volt computers that I want to try running outside full time. They shouldn't draw a whole lot down. So if I charge a battery during the day with those, like a LifePo, say put them on a 100 amp hour battery, like pff, even with cloudy days, this thing should more than handle that. And it would be a good like long term experiment while I'm also doing the power stations. Videos like that are probably two months out. I've got a lot of stuff going on in the next few weeks. And then I'm gonna have two or three weeks where I have to like kind of reset everything up. And then I'm gonna start some of those experiments, but look forward to that. I'll have a link to this in the description and sticky comment. And thanks for stopping by. See you guys next time.